This is Jeremy Lemming with ACS Blog, and we're with Melanie Sloan, the Executive Director of Citizens for Responsibility and Ethics in Washington, or CRU. And I want to ask you, uh, Ms. Sloan, uh, about the Obama administration's Open Government Initiative. Can you give me some comments on that? Is it, uh, how's it going? Well, it's not going as well as you'd hope. Uh, President Obama promised a lot, both on the campaign trail and when he first took office, issuing an open government memorandum to the heads of departments and agencies and then following it up with the open government directive. And while the administration is touting its open government plans, in reality, we're still seeing lots of problems on the ground. Crew recently conducted a uh, survey of FOIA officers in agencies uh, across the government and found that there really hasn't been the change the administration promised. Um, FOIA officers tell us that there are still uh, huge backlogs, they don't have the resources, they don't have the staff, they don't have the training to respond to FOIAs, and then there's still also political interference. Although there are these new FOIA uh, chief officers or chief FOIA officers in the, uh, each agency, uh, many FOIA respondents to the survey found that those officers were really not, didn't do anything useful at all. In Cruz's experience, uh, we're still having the same problems with our FOIAs that we did under the Bush administration. We still frequently have to sue the administration in order to get any kind of response. The administration uh, routinely denies our request for fee waivers. So we're still seeing these kind of problems. Although uh, Beth Novak talked during her, her talk today about the fact that you should then just contact the White House if you're having trouble with your FOIA being responded to, that's really not a very realistic, um, not very realistic advice. Uh, the professor in Oregon or the citizen in Idaho, uh, they don't know who to contact. They don't know that there is Beth Novak sitting in the White House who they could call. And would Ms. Novak or other white people in the White House Counsel's Office really have the time or the inclination to respond to every citizen who had a problem getting their FOIA responded to. Further, this is why FOIA was created by Congress in 1966. The regular citizenry has the right to know what the government is up to, and this is the mechanism we're supposed to use. So when Professor Novak tells us, don't use the FOIA, go around it, then that really tells us that the administration recognizes there are problems with the FOIA, and it's up to them to fix it. We don't go around the one real um, piece of legislation that authorizes citizens to get information <clears throat> from the government. Mm -hmm. This is the way uh, citizens should go about getting information and the administration needs to make sure that mechanism works. Okay. Is it one, there's probably a lot of things the administration should do to get it to, to make it to work. What's one major thing that they could do quickly to get, it, to get it to start working a little bit better? Or is there? Well, I think right away there could be more of a presumption of disclosure. Although the president touted a new presumption of disclosure, in reality we're not seeing that on the ground. And that, uh, that agent, that that view needs to come from the top and it needs to be translated down to every FOIA officer. There should be a presumption of disclosure and particularly when agencies are arguing they shouldn't release information because it's a deliberative process, that's an exemption that I think first ought to be deleted altogether, ought to be done away with, but secondly, there is some um, discretion and an agency can release information whether or not it actually fits within an exemption. They still have the option of providing it and if that information won't harm, say, national security, privacy, or an ongoing law enforcement uh, investigation, it should be provided. Okay. Ms. Sloan, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to ACS Blog. Thank you.